Vanessa Walls. I am from Thunder Bay, Ontario, and I am the executive director, founder of Female Skateboard Collective and Cinema 5 Skate Park. It was more just the fun of skateboarding, like loving it and finding different spots on the street and there weren't really in Thunder Bay skate parks, so it was makeshift places that we used to skate. And that's what I love, I love street skating. I ended up connecting with Vanessa who has opened this park and her vision was really to just get a few more females involved in the sport by starting Sunday skates. So we'd be at the skate park for two hours every Sunday and providing that safe space, inclusive space for anyone who wanted to start. Yeah, so in 2020 I started the Female Border Collective and it kind of started with the looking around and seeing that there were there was limited female representation in skateboarding especially in Thunder Bay um, so I wanted to create a safe space for girls to come out and skateboard and that started our Sunday skates which was a free skateboarding group Sunday mornings show up at the marina we teach how to skate so my name is Richard Panko. I'm from, born and raised in Thunder Bay. Uh, as of current, I am the program coordinating officer for Cinema 5 Skate Park. We started off with 20 girls, which, I mean, my goal at the beginning was just to have one other girl skate with us. So uh, we surpassed that goal pretty quickly. And then um, the last year we had over 130 uh, females, LGBTQ community persons come out and join us and skate. When I joined Cinema 5 Skate Park, uh, we, had, we had just a mini ramp in the middle of the, in the thing. So it was like, none of, none of the like, paint was done yet, nothing was done. It was very, very rough looking. This was a big undertaking and it's very, very uh, awesome to see so many people willing to volunteer their time and their hard work to, to make it a success. I was a part of FBC. So I used to skate there and then I started volunteering there. We came down, we painted for a bit. We didn't really help build anything, we just painted and just like cleaned up around here. So all the like paint splotches like that on the ceiling, that's me <laughs> doing a crappy paint job. <laughs> I actually got to spray paint one of the bathroom stalls there just because I happened to be there. And it's not very good because I don't know how to spray paint, but it's cool either way. Cinema 5 has given the Female Border Collective the foundation to continue the program runnings of every Sunday throughout the winter versus only in the summer because we only had access to the outdoor skate park previously. So we're really looking to connect all of the northern regions and bringing them here to the center of Thunder Bay where they have access to a skate park such as this. There was only a couple of us at the time and there were still lots of kids showing up consistently at the park on our first year. So it was really cool because that's how we really got into mentorship with the Female Border Collective and where we would teach one girl, um, say, how to skate the bank and do kick turns and things like that. And then as other girls were coming into the park, they would then teach that skill to the next girl. So it was just everyone learning from each other and it was just such a really cool thing to see because it really helps those kids learn leadership skills and things like that. Um, with the after school programs, I love like having a personal connection with the kids and like talk to them about school like that. I just want them to have like a nice like safe space they can come to after school. You know, maybe they don't like school as much. I didn't like elementary school very much. So it's great that they can come here afterwards and just like have a good time skating around or if they don't feel like it because they're too tired, they can just like talk to me or draw and we could like joke around and stuff like that. I absolutely think it's amazing that there is an indoor facility for youth to go to and do what they love to do all year round. I'm very jealous that this facility exists but I'm very happy that she's allowing other groups um, to come inside and use the space. So it's fun. I got to come put my skates on and it's been a couple years so I think it's great for the community. I only wish it was bigger. Her dream was to kind of have a uh an indoor skate park and a space for kids to go to to skate that's all inclusive. That's kind of different from a public skate park. And I think just skateboarding in general tends to be an activity that brings in a lot of outcasts and, and outsiders and gives them a, a vehicle to kind of get over whatever stresses are going on in their day-to-day -day life. It seems like a very male-dominated sport and it's sort of a tr like a harder thing to get into. It's very scary to get into 
because you don't know if someone's judging you, you don't know if they're like wondering if they could help you, and then you just feel like you're in your, their way sometimes if they're better than you. As a woman skateboarder, you, you really do kind of feel, feel the pressure when you're at the skate park and it's a bunch of like grown men like doing all these insane crazy tricks like all around you like that and you're just trying to like figure out the most basic thing and you, yeah you know it does take a hit on my ego sometimes but this is a very welcoming community as like scary as it seems everybody is always trying to help each other for the most part i definitely do want to see more girls out here and like more inclusivity inclusivity because of that uh, diversity and inclusivity, you don't, you're not going to run into much problems with many people and other situations as you would in a public space. As this is more of a, once you're here, you're kind of, you're, you're just like part of this big family. It's very good to see that now there are more females in the, in the sport and just more, more people in general, whether you're Female, transgender, it doesn't matter. Like I'm seeing a lot of people just interested in the sport and joining, which is a great thing to see. We are a nonprofit, uh, which means that we uh, rely on the community to also support us as well as grants and government assistance to keep our programs running and to be able to do these programs. So we do have a donation spot on our website that you can go to to make donations and any denomination is, is welcome. Um, all donations go back into our programming and into keeping the space running, keeping our lights on. Any money that we make from admission fee, from selling stuff in our shop, it all gets poured back into the park. Long term, we're looking to, again, expand the par size of the park, the programming, teams, and hopefully be into the competitive scene as well. But eventually, there won't be a need for the, the female border collective any and more in the sense that females will just be fully integrated into skateboarding and there won't have to be uh, a secluded time for them. They'll just be included and they won't have to worry about any of that kind of stuff. I love just to see it, like everybody coming together, having a great time. Like that's the best moments at the park where everybody's like the music's playing and then everybody's just like laughing and having a great time skating around like that. Um, on my life personally, it's like a place where I can go if I just want to calm down or just go do something and have fun. It lets people continue what they've been like doing and improve their progress and I think it has helped with the skate community. I'm having a great time and I know that my skaters who miss roller derby um, have come out here a couple times now and thoroughly enjoyed themselves. So I just hope that we can come on a more regular basis and start landing more tricks. I think it's really important right now to create those spaces so that more girls, women, and LGBTQ persons can get into skateboarding and hopefully get into other areas where we're not seeing that in the industry. And once that happens, I feel like <laughs> hopefully it'll go in the direction where we no longer need to have some segregated times. Or maybe we will, but wouldn't it be really cool if everyone was just welcomed and, you know, there was a quality in the sport.